This is three facts about selling to small to medium sized businesses or SMBs. I'm Alex Berman from Inspire Beats. $20 million in leads generated in the last year, $2 million in sales, and uh, let's jump into it. So I've been talking to a lot of companies recently that are trying to break into the SMB space, right? Uh, small to medium sized businesses are a little bit larger than um, startups, right? Which is what a lot of people target. But they're also smaller than Fortune 500, Fortune 5000, which is also a, a very popular target. Um, however, they are the easiest to sell to, and it's a huge opportunity if you can break into the SMB space. So here are three facts about selling to small to medium businesses uh, and how you can break in. So let's, let's jump into it. Number one, the founder is the decision maker. So I was talking to a wide group of, uh, of clients for us. One uh, is a company that's selling in dental offices, and for them, even the larger dental offices, there's maybe 500 uh, dentist offices that are run by three or four dentists in the entire country. Most of them are run by a single dentist, but even in the larger dental offices, there's one person uh, that's the founder, and that's the only lead that they wanted because those are the guys that actually make the buying decision. The same is true for SaaS startups. If you're a co-founder or you're targeting the, uh, the founder, that guy is going to have the sign-off. Uh, factories and restaurant groups. I talked to the, the head of um, a restaurant group recently, and he is the, uh, he's the founder of there, and he is the decision maker. So if a company's under 100 employees, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what vetting process the company puts you through when you're trying to sell to them, uh, that founder is the one who's going to be putting in their credit card or actually paying or filling out the ACH transfer, uh, regardless of what anyone's telling you. So you're selling directly to that founder. Um, that means, you know, give your pitch to the lower guys, but just know at the end of the day, unless your pitch is very, very solid and those people are able to like push you through all the way up to that founder. Um, if you're not talking to the founder in a company under a hundred employees, you're probably not going to make the sale. Uh, if your if your product is, you know, any decent amount of money, let's say over a thousand dollars. Um, so that's number one. Number two is founders live in their emails. So I was working with a company recently, still working with them, who wanted to buy leads from Inspire Beats, super targeted leads. Uh, they had their targeting, they had it all mapped out. And what this guy wanted to do is take those leads and send them books, send them gifts uh, to basically introduce them to the company and warm them up. Um, and he's going to do that. I, I think he might be successful at it, but it's not necessary, uh, especially when you guys are just starting out. So these founders live in their emails. They're checking their emails all the time. Uh, when we send out emails, we get 80% open rates uh, and responses within 30 minutes on these smaller businesses. Um, normally, we only have to send a maximum of two follow-ups before we're able to get high book rates. And that's because these founders, they love their email. So you can try other tactics like cold calling these B2B companies. You can send them packages like this other guy. But just know, uh, sending 100 emails, right? Spending a couple hours and just writing out 100 cold emails for... Uh, your product to these SMBs is going to be a lot more valuable than writing a book or uh, hosting a live webinar or some kind of uh, product project to uh, to bring them in. So that's number two. Number three, they have budget if you can give them ROI, right? Small businesses aren't broke. Uh, supporting a 10 person or 100 person team means paying between 10 and 100 salaries, right? That's hundreds of thousand dollars or even millions of dollars a year in revenue. So these companies have revenue, right? Uh, if you pitch the founder, who's the decision maker, and you give a solid ROI as your pitch, uh, you'll find them very, very easy to sell to. So for Inspire Beats, we do lead generation and outreach. Uh, usually it's as simple as going over our conversion rate, right? When we send a cold email, we're able to get a 2 to 3% meeting book rate, uh, which once you tell a founder that, they're like, oh, 2 to 3% meeting book rate, so you send 100 emails and I get three meetings. I know that I normally close, you know, one of three meetings and one close is worth 50 grand for me. So that's a no brainer. Uh, so if you can take the ROI of your product and boil it down as small as possible, you will find selling to SMBs incredibly easy. Uh, you'll, you might even see some same call uh, or same day closes. Uh, those are the three facts about selling to small to medium businesses. To recap, one, the founder is the decision maker, always. Two, founders live in their email. And three, they have budget if you can give them a solid ROI. So uh, some homework for you, leave a comment, 
uh, on this video right now, take the value that your product or service could give to a small business and put it in one sentence. I want to see the value in one single sentence, uh, something that would be able to be pitched in a cold email. Focus on a tangible return and investment. Uh, let me know. Leave a comment right now. Stop putting it off. Um, also, you know, if you need leads for your startup, for your B2B company, for your agency, check out inspirebeats.com. We do targeted lead generation and outreach. Uh, also subscribe to this YouTube channel and I will talk to you later.